All right, so this is the new Camp Chef Smoke Pro SG. I just picked it up today from Home Depot. Haven't pulled out the box yet. It was very heavy. So, sorry about the lighting. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll get this open and give you guys a peek to show you what it looks like. Okay, so I just pulled off the cover. Here's the, the cover right here. It was just pulled right off. It wasn't stapled in or taped down or anything. Now, upon picking this up at Home Depot, I received a call and they asked me if I wanted them to assemble it for me. I told them no, because they weren't going to put it together today. And I was too eager to get this. So this is what it looks like as soon as you pull off the lid. All right, so what I did was I just cut all the tape off the sides and this pretty much just fell open like this. So it was pretty easy to get it out the box. Didn't have to struggle with it. There's another box right here. Not sure what's inside that, but we'll take it. We'll cut it open and take a look inside in just a moment. And over here, I noticed it was quite wet. So I'm not sure what this is. Looks like it could be oil. I see some, some brown residue inside this bag and it looks like it's oil. So they oil, oiled this thing up pretty well. So let's see what we have in this little box over here. So it looks like we got the wheel assembly. Looks like maybe the smokestack. Yeah, smokestack. Right here. All right, this looks like the ash, the ashtray, their patented ashtray right there. The cover for the smoke tack, the smokestack. There's a couple of wheels. There's a handle. I don't remember seeing a handle. But we'll take a look at it. Oh, feels like almost like rollerblade wheels without bearings. All right, looks like this screw's not put in, so we'll put this aside. Doesn't look like many pieces that have to go together, so hopefully this is not going to be too terrible to put together. Here goes this. Not sure what this is. And then they got the two temperature probes in here, as well as the, the guidebook, I guess how to assemble some recipes. And then this right here looks like an extra tray, an extra uh, shelf. And then this, hmm, this probably for the pellets to scrape them, make sure they get all the way in. Not sure, but we'll take a look at that. I got it off the styrofoam, and when taking out the styrofoam, it was a little tricky. This was very, it was very heavy, uh, very heavy. So what I had to do was I lifted it up and tilted it on its side. I just stood it up there and I pulled out the styrofoam. The reason why it was tricky was because this piece of styrofoam right here, which it was sitting on, had this metal rack, and that was taped onto that little box over there. All right, so let's start assembling this thing. But before I assemble it, let's go ahead and open this and see what we got inside of here. So the lid already comes hinged on. All right, so it looks like the legs are inside of here. You got your cooking racks, cooking grates. Uh, I'm not sure what else is inside there, but I'll go ahead and pull that out in a moment. So my goal was to go ahead and get this thing assembled today and to get it broken in follow the instructions but it looks like there's going to be rain and as soon as i said looks like there's going to be rain it started to rain so what i'll do is i'll get it assembled and i'll break it in tomorrow hopefully it's not raining even though the forecast states that there's rain all week but let me just go ahead and show you something else i bought while i was at home depot so camp chef pellets are hard to come around for some reason around here not sure where to buy it. So I went ahead and got these Traeger pellets. Now I did give Camp Chef a call to make sure that I can run Traeger pellets through this to not expire the three year warranty that these pellet smokers come with. 
So they said it was okay, as long as it's a hard wood. Go ahead and close the garage, turn the rain. But yeah, so that's another great thing that Camp Chef has to offer. They have a three-year warranty and they allow you to run any pellets through it versus Traeger's three-year warranty where you're only allowed to use Traeger pellets. If you use tra uh, pellets other than Traeger with a Traeger uh, smoker, your warranty will expire and they won't cover anything. Now, this is awesome. Uh, I picked this up at Home Depot like I mentioned before. The grill cost $649.99 after taxes came up to around $695. I have three months to purchase the extended warranty for Home Depot. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. And the great thing about the Home Depot coverage is it adds an extra three years after the Camp Chef's warranty expires. I was looking at Bass Pro Shop to see what they had and their warranty ran simultaneously with the, the Camp Chef smoker. So it didn't really make sense to purchase it from there. And Home Depot's pr warranty pretty much covers everything. So you're good for six years. And then just quickly to show you what I pulled out of this thing. So these were the legs that were inside of there. Not sure what this bar is for. Looks like the grill grate is right here. And then you have the top racks right over here as well. Now I did read something about a jerky rack that this thing came with, but maybe I misread it. I'll have to look into that. Let me open up the smoke, uh, the pellet box, see what's inside there. Okay. All right, so it looks like you have your grease box. Okay, yeah. So those are all the parts. I'll go ahead and assemble everything and then I'll get back to you and show you what it looks like. The Camp Chef SG guys, Smoke Pro. All right, so about an hour later, she's up. Now, a couple things I didn't do. I didn't remove my grates from the plastic or the cardboard. And the reason why is I'm not planning on using this today. I'll probably be, break, be breaking this in tomorrow. Hopefully if there's no rain. But it looks like the rain is not lessening up out there. So I have no reason to take this stuff off now. So in the instructions, they don't show you how to install this thing right here. I mean, it's fairly simple. You just put a nut and a bolt, one on each side. That one in the back was pretty tricky to get. Um, the only thing that I had a concern with is, I don't know if this is the right way. Now I tried to follow the picture and it looked like there was a double ledge on the, in the picture. So hopefully that's correct. If it's not, it's just one little minor step that I'll have to go back and fix. Another thing they don't show you how to install is the side shelf. Side shelf is not hard to install at all. There's just five screws, one of here, one over here, one over here, one over here, and one over here. And you just screw it in, no bolts necessary. There's already some kind of a metal thread already included in there. And then the final thing, they do show you how to install this, but I will say that Smoke Pro, or Camp Chef, I'm sorry, their instructions are not the best. So you kinda have to think a little bit. I have no idea how to put this thing on. So there is a hole right here. I threaded the screw through, but it's very, very, very difficult. And I don't want to crack or break anything. So this is something I'm probably going to either have to look up online or give them a call tomorrow. So yeah. So that's the Smoke Pro. So all, all set up, almost ready to go. There's a little grease bucket. And then there goes the ashtray. Now, I did do some, a little bit of research, but not much. Forgot what this thing is. It says grill knob. Oh, if you want to do some grilling. Okay, I see. I guess you slide that out if you want to grill. Okay, that's cool. Oh, and by the way, this box right here. So this is like a cardboard blanket. That's what they call it in the instructions. And this thing came in handy. It's easy on your knees. 
whenever you're bending down. Now, in the very beginning, you are required to flip this thing upside down to assemble the legs. So the cardboard came in handy to not scratch it or do any damage. <clears throat> yeah, so that's that. Tools that you're gonna need. It comes with an Allen key. I forgot which one of these Allen keys it was. I had one laying down in my garage. But you're gonna need an Allen key. You're gonna need a screwdriver. You're gonna need a pair of pliers. Because there are a couple of bolts that you're gonna have to assemble. And then here comes the, the meat probes. All right, so tomorrow, hopefully, I will go ahead and I'll do the initial burn to get all this grease and chemicals killed off. Also, I look forward to researching this thing online to make sure we can get that smoke cap on properly. I'm not sure if that'll make a big difference or not. If it's down all the way, it's something about an inch and a half, but I'm not sure. And then here goes a little shovel for the pellets. And then let me just open this. So nothing in there. And that's that. Now there is the, the grease tray on the bottom of this. And there's the heat shield. And I didn't remove the plastic from those either. So I'll just do that tomorrow. No, no need to take everything off now especially with the humidity, so might help to prevent, prevent rusting, I'm not sure. But, yep, stay tuned for tomorrow. We'll go ahead and get this thing fired up and we'll show you how it works.